I, I, I think Iran is getting tougher. Uh, you know, if they really wanted to get it done, it wasn't going to be a seven-month extension. It would have been a three-month extension. They didn't do that. And the view in the White House right now is, you know, um, the worst possible scenario is the negotiations fall apart and the Iranians move through breakout capacity below one year, below six months, and the rest. They don't want that. One of the reasons they accept seven months is because they are prepared as a fallback scenario to extend and pretend, kick the can down the road to the next administration. That is not what they want, but that is their baseline for what they think is actually going to happen. ISIS is the top priority for the U.S. and the region right now. It's the top priority for Iran, too. Harder to get Iran done in that environment. Hard to get Iran done when other countries are going to help erode sanctions. In part, that depends on energy price. But there's no question the Russians, who the, econo the economics minister just a couple of days ago said that they are ready to ink an oil for food deal with the Iranians. They say lots of things. Nonetheless, they clearly want to make this deal harder, not easier. So I've, I mean, there was definitely an opportunity for this deal a year ago. Mm -hmm. They were, I mean, Susan Rice was 50-50 on it. It was, yeah. they were aligned. There was a window. I think the window has closed quite a bit. It's going to be hard to get done. So then, I mean, game that out a little bit because it seemed that all that flurry of events, uh, including here at the Asia Society a, a little over a year ago, uh, Really, it just seemed like a pretty optimistic situation and probably informed your prediction and mine. But here we are, uh, and, and does, even if there's not a breakdown, but if, if we don't continue to extend and pretend, to use your phrase, are we back on a war footing? I mean, what's, uh, and, 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 and the implications, you know, I mean, do all those plans come out of the closet, and is that, because at some point you can't just keep kicking this can down the road. Oh, I'm, I am concerned about, I mean, the ISIS situation, as well as the increased conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran, I mean, it makes it hard to imagine that baseline relations are stable, even if you do extend the deal. Um, I mean, you know, the U.S. is, I think, doing a relatively decent job fighting ISIS in Iraq, given limited interest in the U.S. to extend, expend a lot of resources, and people on the ground that are actually prepared to work with the United States. That is not true in Syria at all, mm -hmm. right? There is no strategy for Syria. There are no people in Syria the Americans can work with. The Iranians are on the other side. Right. And so, I mean, over time, is it going to be more abundantly evident that the United States and Iran are actually antagonists on issues that are important? But one of the reasons why the Iran deal was plausible was because over the last few years, the Americans and the Iranians were able to single-mindedly focus in negotiations on that deal. There was no linkage, not even to ballistic missiles. There was no linkage to support for Hezbollah. There was no linkage to support for geopolitical differences and antagonisms in the region. I think it's very hard to avoid linkage as the war against ISIS persists between the Americans and the Iranians, and that will clearly complicate the potential for a deal.